Hello there, this is John Franquist on John Franquist Discusses. This is my second video on YouTube, but I'm going to call it my first because uh, stupidly I deleted my first video by accident. So I'm going to have to redo that one. But anyway, join me. We're going to be discussing history. We're going to be discussing a lot of current topics. But right now, one that's a little closer to home for me. There's an article going around. Uh, uh, this article was written back in 2010. The article is called Haiti Should Merge with the Dominican Republic. This article was written in 2010. It was written by a Daniel Rodriguez, a surprisingly a Latino, wrote this article. Now, he wrote it in 2010, but because of Facebook and other mediums, this article is uh, having a second win. It's going all over the place. People have a lot of comments to make. So we're going to discuss this article real quickly. And I dropped my notes, believe it or not. So bear with me. It's my first video. But anyway, let's get into this right now. The article came out in 2010. Uh, and the notion of Haiti merging with the Dominican Republic is ridiculous. But what surprises me is not just that. It's the fact that the article got published. Any newspaper article is subject to approval. Any, any news broadcast has to be approved before it's aired. So somebody approved this. This guy's not alone in this. This was Fox News, by the way. They approved the article, foxnews.com. Uh, is pu publishing it out there. Um, my second surprise, the author, Daniel Rodriguez. Uh, he's an educated man. He's not a dummy. Listen to this. He's got a bachelor's in communications, a master's in public administration. He's the co-founder and director for Alliance for Economic Stability, managing partner of MGR uh, Group, giving counsel to p businesses, campaign managers, and politicians. He's also the vice senior vice president of Prestige Media Incorporated. This dummy is no dummy. And what's scary to me is that this, this guy's giving advice to politicians. And it makes me wonder, what about our other experts that are out there making decisions that affect all of our lives? I mean, is this the kind of stuff they come up with? I mean, is this what they try on us? I don't know. Well, let's discuss the article per se, and then we'll talk a little bit more. Uh, the first thing he says in the article, he states that he's well-traveled, that he's been to Haiti many times. He starts discussing Haiti's history, the struggle for independence. He mentions the two Duvalier governments began in 1957, it ended in 1986. The dictatorships, how 30,000 people died in Haiti during those regimes. He talks about the economic despair, the hunger, the political instability, and ends with the 2010 earthquake. Basically, he's saying that Haiti has major problems. Then he says that Haiti only has two options. Option number one, Leave things as is. Haiti out there begging for help and trying to get people to dish out, open their wallets, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That's just, this is the way he phrased it. That's one option, which he states right away doesn't work. Option number two is to merge with Dominican Republic. Uh, first of all, who's to say that we only have two options? I mean. Has he spoken to anybody else? I mean, don't say we've tried everything. Or better yet, we shouldn't say we. Have the Haitians tried everything? What are they doing? Has he asked them? Uh, so right now, I want to knock down that there are only two options. I don't know where he comes up with that. But the second option, he says that the, the only option Haiti has is to merge with the Dominican Republic. Now, first of all, does, do the Dominicans have any say-so in this? He's saying that Haiti has an option to merge with the Dominican Republic. I could safely say that is not an option. Dominicans don't want this. Um, and... Who's to say that Haiti even wants that? Uh, I mean, look at it another way. Let's just say you create a, a fruit soda and you're down on your luck and your business is not running well. You're trying to sell your fruit soda and it doesn't work. And I speak to Mr. Daniel Rodriguez and he tells me, merge with Coca-Cola. Well, great. I, why didn't I think of that? Well, crap, man. I can merge with Coca-Cola. Now, does Coca-Cola want me? He doesn't talk about these things. He just says, Haiti has an option, merge with the Dominican Republic. Now, he compares this merging. Well, he states that there will be problems, of course, in merging two countries. He states that uh, this merge is like merging two corporations. They always have problems, but before they do the merge, they sit down and they discuss their differences. He's talking as if the Dominicans and Haitians were nothing but stock options and investments. Uh, then he makes a comparison to Germany. Saying, look, East and West Germany, they, they merged. Uh, forgetting that uh, Germany was one people, divided, reunited. They were one, they had one language, they had one people. Completely different case. Uh, he talks about the Haitian corruption. 
that Haiti is more corrupt than other Latin countries, that few people in Haiti possess the willpower or the skills to rebuild Haiti, and that all we do is open our pockets to Haiti, and he says doing nothing is not an option. Well, there, if you want to improve the, 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 the status of Haiti, I have to agree with that one. Doing nothing is not an option. Uh, but this has to be uh, offensive, not just the Dominicans, uh, that we don't even get our say-so in this, in this opinion, but also to Haitians. I mean, he makes it sound as if Haiti doesn't have one honest politician in the whole country, that they don't have one capable leader. This has to be offensive to the Haitians. And even if Haiti wanted to merge with the Dominican Republic, if the Dominicans hear that Haiti doesn't have a capable leader, do we want to... Uh, take on this problem. The Dominican Republic also has corruptions. Uh, it has its own sets of problems, maybe not as big as Haiti, let's just say that, but uh, it's not appealing to take on another 9 million Haitians that have to be fed. The cultures are different, the languages are different, uh, religions, values, things that I haven't even thought of. Now, in spite of, of the Dominican, I'll, I'll mention Dominican racism for just a moment, and let's not beat around the bush. There are Dominicans that are racist against Haitians. However, in spite of that, we have thousands of Haitian women that cross the border and they give birth in Dominican Republic for free. We have thousands of illegal Haitian children that study in the public schools for free. Uh, and Dominican Republic has its own set of corruption and doesn't want to merge with Haiti. Um, anyway, going on, let me give a third option, since I'm going to throw in my two cents in. Option number three. Uh, why doesn't he ask Haiti so that Haiti can consider and ask the United States if it can be a 51st state? I mean, the U.S. has more stability than the Dominican Republic, right? There's, I would say, less corruption, at least not so bold and brazen like the Dominican Republic, that the... Uh, Haiti could join the U.S. U.S. has a lot more money, could help Haiti a lot more. Is that appealing to Haiti? Is it appealing to the United States? Throw it out there. Now, can you imagine a neighbor, to put this in perspective, imagine a neighbor knocking on your door and says, uh, hello, neighbor, my name's Jose. I have a problem. Um, broke. Um, <clears throat> I have instability in my house because my wife and I don't get along. My eight kids need a better education. So I have a proposal. Can we knock down a few walls and rebuild our both two of our, our homes into one big home? We can all live together and you can help me out. Uh, basically, you can tutor my kids. Uh, you can counsel my wife and you can feed the 10 of us. Russia has had continuous struggles with the Balkan states, uh, satellite countries that it owned and lost and so on and so forth. Uh, merging like this uh, doesn't work. Unless you get both countries to agree, which, I mean, uh, what hits me with this is that the whole, the whole article is uh, stupid, and uh, it's not even an option. Haiti doesn't have that option, even if they wanted to consider it. Um, but what strikes me is the arrogance of Daniel Rodriguez to even suggest that, like Dominicans and Haitians are little pawns in a chessboard, and that all we got to do is get them to merge together, and everything's just going to be all right, you know. I mean, where does he come from? Now, um, interestingly, I have to state that uh, the good thing about this is that the, the backlash against Mr. Rodriguez is astounding. I mean, you go to the blogs. I don't think there's anybody on his side on this one. Um, and a lot of Americans, too, are, you know, putting in their opinions. And they're also calling him an idiot because, I'm sorry, he is. So, Mr. Rodriguez, I value your opinion, but I don't value your opinion. Anyway, um, give me your comments. I mean, right below, or better yet, if, better yet, if you have a YouTube account, uh, subscribe. And uh, I'm going to be uh, uploading videos every Friday. Now, a lot of my videos are going to be uh, historical. I'm going to be talking about history, current events. Once in a while, we'll talk about a couple of fun things and so on and so forth. And uh, But I want your comments. I want your opinions. And if you have any topics that you would like to discuss, let me know right below. Anyway, look me up on YouTube. John Franklin's, that's my YouTube account. So this is John Franklin's saying goodbye. Sayonara.